All right, my first weekend winner, and I'm going to ask the doc about this because this is something that um, I've got a question about. I, Jordan's been playing with his neighborhood buddies. Just It's um, a kid that's in his grade down the street um, and his younger brother, and they've been playing together for like the last two weeks. They've been playing in the neighborhood. Yeah. So they've been together. Um, and, and my weekend winner is them because you can see just like this this full joy of life in these kids running around the hood, playing basketball, playing football. The, the weather's been beautiful. Really, the homeschooling, it takes about two and a half hours. Yeah. You just sit down and do the work, and it'll, it'll run you about two, two and a half hours. So, I mean, you know, I mean, my, my schedule and regimen has been get off the air, get home. I kind of set up my office, do my work. He's yeah. sitting right next to me doing his work. And then two hours later, it's like, eh, you know, go outside well, you know. and play, man. So, so that, that dovetails with mine, which was like, Family walks. That's right. That's right. Family bike rides. Well, no, I just wrote that in here. Fam- family TikToks, but like didn't whatever. You, didn't you have last week as a weekend winner as the neighborhood kids? I mean, they're all over the place. They're everywhere. They're loving life. It's yeah, like the it's extended everywhere. summer. So many bike gangs. Yeah. So many roving bike gangs. I mean, Jay's on his on his bike in the hood. They got little pickup basketball games in the driveway. He's, he set up the music outside. I go out there yesterday. I got the shirts versus skins. I mean, like it's you know. So I got a question for all the parents like yourself out there then who have older kids who are out there running around. Have we overscheduled our kids in everyday life? Like, like, do is is what you're witnessing now? Uh, would you rather do that than constantly going to football practice and then basketball oh, practice geez. and then baseball practice and then the AAU game on Saturday morning? And then selfishly, the- selfishly, it would free up a lot more time as a parent. But I will tell you, and I'm serious, the thing I miss the most about being away from sports is watching my son play. Mm. Seriously. And I'm not like, like yeah. I yeah. look. Uh, I didn't know how much I I looked forward to it. I knew in the moment that I was I was looking forward to do it, but having that taken away, I, I didn't know like how much I just enjoyed waking up on Saturday, going to the gym, and watching him play all day. Jordy's mm-hmm. got like a beer, watching the skin for a shirts <laughs> game. Like, Come on! <laughs> hey, you can't get kicked out of that game. I can't. I mean, right? If it's in if your you driveway. Don't cut without the ball <laughs> one more time. Everybody's going home. <laughs> I have him running suicides in the driveway. Okay, that crack to this crack, the farther crack to this crack. Keep you going. better touch it with your hand. Uh, okay, my first weekend winner, NASCAR, man, the iRacing. Like People been love it. a lot of NASCAR lately. People love it. Check this out. They got Bob Weir of the Grateful Dead to sing the national anthem. Wow. They got Troy Aikman, who instead of saying, uh, start your engines or whatever, said, like, start your simulators. Uh, they had Mike Joy and Jeff Gordon, the Fox commentary i mean look this is footage if you're watching online from the game it looks very it looks real. very real cars are always the thing that you can do digitally more than anything else so you got a professional announcing crew they had nine hundred thousand viewers on fs1 the first time around wow. largest esports event ever uh well i don't know how they're calculating that because i know of much higher numbers and things like league of legends but that's fine whatever uh now they're showing it they're offering all their fox sports affiliates and They've done some pretty cool things where you know how you normally have the cameras inside the car for these drivers? They have cameras on everybody's setup. So you've got like Denny Hamlin in his $40,000 simulator with all of its crazy technology. And then there's this other guy, Garrett Smithley, who they said just had like a racing wheel, a cheap desktop, and then his Richard Petty poster hanging in his bedroom. (laughs) And he's just out there competing, man. I wonder if there's more wrecks because they're doing it like this. It seems like a little more dangerous. Like, well, guys are, yes, guys don't care as much. Yeah, they are. They are kind of being a little. uh, Fast and or loose. Cavalier with their yeah, one, one guy had to get kicked out because he was trying to intentionally well, wreck Tony someone. <laughs> uh, I can't remember who it was. But, but oh, man, and now I'm really screwing this up because I didn't write down his name. The winner, though, is a cat who's like a journeyman NASCAR guy, but he's a beast at iRacing. Nice. And so he finally got to give like the, the post-race, like thanking the sponsors, Aww. everything else. Yeah, it was a nice little, nice little moment for him. But uh, NASCAR killing it with the iRacing game right now. Golf should do this. Golf's another Oof. virtual game that they can play all in their homes. They and could. It, that would make it a little bit oh, more. Oh, like on like, what, like a, <laughs> like a, a driving simulator. simulator? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah maybe I mean, so. Wouldn't you like to see Tiger Pound one into the simulator? See, the problem simulator? is they would be, unless I'm not aware of the golf esports scene, they would be building that from the ground up. iRacing was already, it was already, like it already had its own community. It yeah. just now just moved into the uh, But I feel like the there's four. so many golf simulators that already exist 
it might not take as much building from the ground up as maybe not. Could you think. imagine? Could you imagine a simulated Masters with that'd the be, NBA? I mean, wild. with the PGA. I mean, the assets are out there, dude. Like in those old Tiger Woods games, they, the same way that these that I racing laser tracks, the you know these these, these race tracks are so like even like inches in elevation are actually there, represented digitally. Like, yeah, they have the Masters mapped out like that. So, um, or Augusta. my first weekend winner. Um, are all people who like to FaceTime. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sla- slash the company Zoom. Yeah, yeah. what the heck? Um, Everybody talks about so Zoom now. So I had no, I had one experience with Zoom before all of this, the, before the outbreak. And it was like an interview or something with someone, you know, across mm. the country. Um, and so I had to like download it for that specific interview. And then I like deleted it off my computer. But it's just a, it is a video conferencing chat Interactive, app. right? Yeah. Right. And I should have looked this up, but how many people do you think have downloaded oh my Zoom God. in the last you see their stock? two weeks? I mean, their stock is... You would you say their rocket. stock is Zooming? Okay. Mm, um, zooming up the ranks? Well, I will say as someone... Like a Maserati. Someone who will <laughs> decline every single FaceTime call I receive. Yes. Amen. Um, this has been a hard time for me. Because you got to do a lot of face chatting, and I don't care for it. No, but see, you have a kid, so you just keep uh, it on the kid. You just yes. keep it on the kid. That is it. You don't have to no, show your own face. There's absolutely no good angle the the kid. From fa- for FaceTime. There's no good angle unless you want to go all the way up, and then your arm gets tired. Yeah, I always try there's to remind no angle, myself. I don't have a double chin. I'm trying there's to remind myself stick. to Oof. look at the uh, to look at the camera. Yeah, instead of yourself. Yeah, because everybody <laughs> just looks at themselves, <laughs> and you lose you lose you're the like, connection. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're like looking at yourself. You lose the connection a little bit. Your needs to be thinned down a little. A little bit. Uh, yeah. All right. Did you Shout see this? Zoom, did you see what Joe Buck is doing? Bored at home. You send him your home videos on Twitter, and he will do the play-by-play. For oh, that's pretty great. Right. So Buck's at home. I don't know if the audio is going to work. I saw Todd Graffinini. The uh, you ready over here, Ribs? Let's try it. The Let's Pelicans radio guy was doing this. Was he as doing well. this? Yeah. Was he doing this? Jab to the left. Now breaks the tackle. <laughs> breaks another tackle. Is the turquoise ball ever going to be caught? That's this is marbles. Question. It's getting tighter. <laughs> It looks like a four marble ray. Oh, we've had a we've had an accident, and now the turquoise ball is behind. <laughs> now he's got it. A bullseye. It's happened. Tom Martin has stunned himself. <laughs> stunned a, himself. Whoa, wow! Back into his face, and now Adam doesn't feel so good. Sorry, I love you. Kiss. Life's hard. <laughs> Suck it up. <laughs> so I'm going to send him some of Jay's pickup basketball yes. games in the driveway and see if we can get OTV yeah. a little low. Yeah, awesome. the, um, I, I, the, the marble racing, I mean, Joe did a fine job there, but for real, that marble racing YouTube channel is awesome. Uh, and, and it's and it's well, it's well uh, commentated on in, in that YouTube channel. My second weekend winner. Did you all hear about the quarantined cutie saga in New York? This uh, this young cat, I got the link right there if you just want to play the video in the background, Danny. But this, game, bro. but this young guy hanging out in his apartment, he sees on a rooftop uh, across the way this girl dancing. He thought she was uh, he thought she was pretty cute. Being a hipster in Brooklyn, he has a drone, so he uh, attached <laughs> yeah, his yeah, obviously right. So he attaches his his number and his digits to the drone, flies it over to her. She hits him up. They set up a little FaceTime dinner date with wine and everything. And then he shows up. Uh, and that, that all went very well. And then in the third part, he shows up in a full bubble boy bubble that he had bought <laughs> online, goes to her front door, and they took a nice walk through the city with him in his bubble and her Aww. outside of it. Yeah, it was uh, It's very, very 2020. So he has a drone and a bubble boy suit? He, I guess he bought the, I'm, I'm guessing he bought the bubble boy suit online. He had the drone ready to go though. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, shout out to him. He, he, gave he shot his own a shot. Haircut. 2020 style, gave himself his own haircut. And he made it. He got it done. Um, so this, I didn't actually have this on my list, but you said he's in Brooklyn, right? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm guessing it just well, looked like New York or Brooklyn. I'm gonna, to me. I'm gonna piggyback off your Brooklyn thing. Um, I saw yesterday. You know how all the people are like, especially in Italy, like leaning out of their windows, yeah. singing yeah. songs together. Well, oh, yesterday, this is cool. Brooklyn, they're all singing Biggie. Nice. I mean, but it was like, we have I, a video? I can we play that or, or, um, or well, is um, there cursing? I'm gonna, yeah, I don't know. I didn't do enough. Um, it was all a dream. Yeah, I used to. Yeah, it's not the magazine. clean version. Um, Yep, but that's I'm what they remember were singing. If there's any I mean, it's, kind of, it's definitely the first gonna, verse. I'm not going to roll the dice. Oh, okay. um, yeah. uh, but they're all singing it out their windows. And I mean, the video is of all Brooklyn. Like, there's nobody outside. It looks it's like crazy. a ghost town. But all you hear is people just like Ooh, that's flaring. That's good. Biggie. I got chills. I know. That's good. That's good. Anything for you, T? Um, uh, cooking at home. <laughs> uh, I've been doing a lot of that. Actually, 
actually using the groceries that you buy. Yes. No waste. Like normally I have some produce left over. So I'm going to feel terrible about throwing away. We're using everything. We had a solid buy. We planned for it to last us a week, last a week. So like, I, I feel like now finally at 31 years old, I'm, I'm, I'm finally figuring out how to appropriately buy groceries and use groceries. So that's been nice. And then uh, I wanted to give a shout out to Teresa Plaisons, former LSU standout. This is not really a weekend winner. I just shoehorned it in here. But a pretty crazy story where she was playing basketball in China, and back in December, I think she might have had COVID. She was, like, in the hospital five days, 103 fever, chills, throwing up all this stuff. But the crazy part of the story that uh, sports-related that jumps out is she finally got out of the hospital. She's still on IV. She plays a game a couple days later. She drops 51 points and scores and grabs 31 boards. Wow. 51 and 31 for Teresa. So uh, shout out, too. One of the best LSU basketball um, players ever. You know who another weekend winner is? And really just a winner in general in the last like week or so? Peloton wife. Um, yeah. You know, everybody wanted to come at her husband for buying her that Peloton mm. um, and it being a bad gift. But you know who's got the last laugh? <laughs> that lady who's riding yeah. on her Peloton right now. I mean, for real though. It's 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 the best. It's just like a little, little gym in your house. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> uh, this weekend also a winner for me was uh, full stream ahead content that I'll tell you about on Thursday. Saw a ton though. Nice Locked tease. In. Locked in for Thursday, but also picked up a great record that uh, is a local band, the, Revi- uh, the Revivalists from New Orleans, who had a, a recording session, or the the, the, um, the record came out in January of 2020, but at the famous Muscle Shows Sound uh, Studio in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, and it's a great listen. It was the background of my weekend, uh, was the Revivalist Muscle Shoals album that came out in 2020, so that was a, uh, it was a great one. We'll play it on the way out, and uh, those are your weekend winners.